It's summer vacation time, so the kids get a nice break for a month. Azusa says she has plenty of opportunities to be a YouTuber. Like seeing the whole fireworks thing and fantasizing about a million other ideas she has. Of course, this is Shinkalian. The mere mention of a Shinkansen makes her collapse. Hayato recalls the Huckleberry Express, a promotional campaign to get kids to ride the Shinkansen. I googled the thing. Lo and behold, it exists as an actual commercial, and you can view it on YouTube. Azusa said my reaction for me. How is it even possible for you to know about such an ancient commercial? Replace Shinkansen with useless trivia in this line over here, then that's basically how my friends view me whenever I give them random bits of nonsensical trivia, mostly about Marvel or Kingdom Hearts or comic books in general, or... Pff, whatever. My friends also say this whenever I bring up Spider-Man's marriage, or lack thereof. Anyways, because vacations are never about vacationing, you'll always have homework, Hayato's teacher vetoes anything about Shinkansen's. Hayato screams, possibly through the opening credits itself. Shinkansen angsty over here somehow manages to relate not being able to write about the Shinkansen to the Shinkansen itself. Anyways, the kids are on summer vacation, but Futaba says she's not allowed to go on vacation outside Japan for obvious reasons. But, as Akita points out, that means the boys are kind of benched in Japan only as well. Well, everyone takes a few vacations and cycles so that they aren't running on a skeleton crew in case something bad happens. Ryuji, for example, is taking his vacation right now with the whole he broke his arm fighting the Black Shinkalian last time. That means Nagoya is currently lacking a driver, something Hayato is more than happy to jump on. If you think this is about the Shinkansen, it's about the Shinkansen. You are 100% correct. I swear, by the end of this series, I will be an expert on Japanese train rails and tourist traps. What you're looking on my screen is also my reaction to Hayato. Meanwhile, the agents apparently sleep in some not-back-to-tank, and we see Seriyu take his leave. During Hayato's trip to Nagoya, Commander Izumi is also there on the same train. This is by coincidence. The explanation he gives is that some staffers are sickened by the summer cold, so he's there for backup. If this sounds like a cover story, yeah, it's a cover story. Hayato is initially uneasy about being next to the commander, something Izumi picks up, but he does open up a bit more since he got to learn more about Hokuto. They were in the same college. They were also apparently in the same comedy club. While this is funny, actors put on characters in order to sell an illusion. Why wouldn't you want actors in a secret organization? You need to sell that illusion pretty well. Yeah, this was a joke, but my actor bit still stands. What's not a joke is Hokuto's emergency. The short staffing is not about the Shinkalians. It's about the fact that this is a railway museum and they need customer service because, well, you gotta fund your Shinkalians somehow, even though the government is probably paying like 90% of it. After a nice day of work, it's time for backstory. Both Izumi and Hokuto were on the Shinkalian project. Hokuto was with the drivers in R&D. Meanwhile, Izumi was in charge of commanding. Of course, we're going to need to get blocked here before we get more story. Genbu, Suzaku, and Byako just sent three giant monstrous beings towards Hayato and Hokuto. In terms of efficiency, they basically do the Shinkalian cross immediately. And as you can expect, this is where the E5 cross 500 gets its butt kicked by three monsters. Izumi has a plan. Retreat. It's actually a good plan. Basically, the escape route means that they would have to take the rails. The rails are pretty narrow. This is why you zigzag trenches when you attempt to siege a bastion fort. This prevents just the enemy from just shooting you down the trench. Apparently, this was also a gamble from a history. Yeah, this strategy was cooked up because Izumi was part of the historical research club. But there's a different reason why Izumi came down to this branch. After cleaning up some of the background noise and the transmission they heard, they managed to reconstruct something from the Black Shinkalian's last transmission. Both Izumi and Hokuto recognized the voice. 
And given that this scene was right before it, I think it's pretty clear that Iza was a Shinkalian researcher. This episode is more like a one-off type episode. It has the trappings of a one-off episode. I hesitate to use the word filler. Hayata's reaction to his turn paper, a problem. And the whole railway museum is overbooked, also a problem. But what prevents it from being a filler is the whole thing with Iza and the Shinkalian project. Now it's become set up for a future mystery. Also, what the hell is this Seryu sleeping in? That's it for this video. Please consider liking, subscribing, tipping the channel on Kofi. This is Cyril signing off.